Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in Mini Metro. We're going to be checking out the city of Chongqing, where we got to connect the city at the confluence of the Yangtze and Jialing rivers. Looks like I've already played this level once at some point. I did pretty well. Let's see if we can beat that 1967 score. Spawning in here, we got ourselves a good spawn. We'll get this teal, oh, not teal, a khaki brown line going. Uh, let's go ahead and get that to double speed there, of course, because we're not going to sit around and wait for too long. And there we go. We already got a couple people moved. One passenger moved as our subway just puts us along. Another triangle spawning in there. And we'll we'll get that khaki line out there to that other triangle. How you guys been? Let me know down in the comments below. It is Friday, November 17th, 2023 here as I am recording. Uh, it's about 7.45 at night. Hopefully going to have this video posted sometime Saturday morning. So let me know if you got big plans for the weekend. What you guys have been up to during the week. Anything like that, I would love to hear that from you guys. Got a circle spawning over here on the east side of the map. Go ahead and use our red line to, to do that. And it will just kind of move across like that. It does have, looks like it's spawning mostly triangles. So let's go ahead and do something like that for funsies. Be a bit of a distance for the red line to go. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and take our red line up and hit that circle there. I could actually, let's do, I don't want to use the green line yet. What I want to do is, let's do that. I think, yeah, I like that. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and go, we still have a green line. Let's go ahead and grab an extra carriage. And we'll go ahead and put that carriage on the red line. Looks like it's going to have the most passengers right now. So we'll go ahead and do that as we already got, wow, 33 people moved here uh, in the second week already. And another yell, or another circle spawning there. So let's go ahead and grab our green line, but we don't have any additional bridges since our red line is using two um let's ta the tacky tacky uh tan khaki line can pick that up and we'll go ahead and drop a second train on the the tan line there um and then do i want to dry drop a second train on the red line no we'll hang on to that extra train and we'll we'll eventually use that on the green line um as we have another triangle spawning up there um Let's go ahead for now at least, get that triangle involved. I'd like to get another bridge this end of this week. Um, hopefully even two bridges. Or do I, mm, no, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll leave it the way it is. Anyways, hope you guys are doing fantastic as you're letting me know down in the comments below what you go, got going on. Tomorrow, Saturday, ooh, we got a uh, Pentagon out there. We'll take locomotive and we'll take the bridges. I'm gonna pause for a second here. And I think what I'm gonna do is we're going to take the green line and it's going to go boom boom there and it's going to be a long jog all the way out to that pentagon uh but we'll go ahead and do that and then it can pick anything that spawns up kind of in the center uh center southwest quadrant uh what was I about to say oh volunteering tomorrow at a free clinic uh and then playing a little uh little dungeons and dragons with some friends tomorrow so that'll be exciting and then Sunday going and doing a little yoga with some other friends. So quite a bit going on over these next couple days. Uh, I think that green line is going to have to run up and grab that circle. Not necessarily thrilled about that, but it is going to pick up that square there. And because of that, uh, we're going to go ahead and unattach it from this square here. Uh, as I keep grabbing that tan line. There we go. We'll just have it jump straight across. I think that'll be a little bit easier for it. Um, Got a triangle spawning up there. We'll have the red line pick that up. Nice. All right, I kind of like the setup we have here as we get about 145 people moved here in Chongqing. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I looked it up on Google before I started and, uh, you know, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. We'll go ahead and get that second train in there. I think that'll help quite a bit. Uh, we'll take the locomotive and we are, ooh, do I want bridges or interchange? We'll take the interchange. Um, yeah, we'll take that interchange there. I think that's going to be better for us long term. And we have a diamond up there, um, which means we're going to need to get, oh, we're going to have to go up there somehow. Let's pause for a second and let's see how we want to do this. Um, what if I did something like, well, how am I going to, I'm going to have to get the red line around to wrap around like that. Let's go ahead and unattach the red line from that. And then we're going to have the red line cross across there and grab that diamond there. And we'll go ahead and get going again. 
Um, that's going to add a really long distance for the red line. Green line's going to have to pick that star up. Uh, but it does have the double car train. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and put a second train on the red line as well. I think that's that's our best bet here as we roll into Wednesday. Uh, all right, green line can shoot up and grab that triangle for me, please. You only got two trains and quite a bit of distance to go. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. I think maybe we'll have the tan line come up and hit that circle as well just to help the red line out a little bit. That way the red line, why it only has three stops that aren't double covered. Uh, they are quite far away. Um, and that tan line really doesn't do that much. Could I run this tan line out like this? No, let's not do that. Let's unattach that. Let's leave the tan line the way it is um, as that triangle spawns in there. Uh, okay, we'll put the red line there and then maybe we'll eventually loop the red line here if we get some more bridges. We'll take the locomotive and we'll take the, the bridges here. And let's go ahead and loop our red line. Bada bing, bada boom. That eats up one of our bridges. Um, and we'll, we'll hold off for now. Um, I might put another train. Yeah, we'll put another train on the green line, especially if this new square being spawned in. Uh, hopefully we can get a new line at the end of this next week. And I think that'll help us reorganize the green line. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll kind of reorganize this left side, the west side of the map and hopefully get a little bit better of a, a system going as we move about 320 people. Very nice. So let's see, health of the channel. The channel's doing pretty well. Uh, very happy with the Jurassic Park The Game series. Getting a lot of views on that. So if you guys haven't checked that out, be sure to go check out the Jurassic Park The Game series. A little bit different style of a game than Mini Metro and Mini Motorways. Um, all right, we got a circle spawning down there. So we'll just go ahead and get that tan line doing that. A uh, little bit different style of a um, Mini Met than Mini Metro and Mini Motorways. Uh, but it is a fantastic game. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a, a telltale game, or at least the old telltale games. Uh, so it's a kind of a action adventure, um, story driven game that it's pretty good if you like Jurassic Park. Uh, so again, highly recommend checking that out. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a new line and let's do this circle to the triangle, um, to the circle, to the square. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to do... No, actually, let's hold off, because the green line seems to be doing pretty well right now. Uh, not a lot of backup, really, on any of the lines. The stars are spawning on this triangle uh, over here on the far east side of the map, so maybe we can figure out a way to do, like, a direct line. Um, what if we did something like this? From here to here, and we'll just run... Uh, actually, no, let's... Back off that, back off that. Jump down, grab this circle. What if we did something like that? Um, it'll kind of be our express line to all the crazy shapes on the, the west side. That still only leaves the, the diamond in the, the northwest quad, um, or excuse me, northeast quad not being covered by anything. And now we have this down here and I don't have any bridges to get there. Um, and that circle just spawned. So we're gonna have the blue line pick up that circle. Um, we gotta pause here for a second, figure out how we're gonna get to that. And I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and detach the green line from that. Oh no, cause we gotta keep that there. Um, unless, maybe we do this. Unattach that. And then we're gonna unattach that and have that come down like that, okay. There we go. I think that little reorganization, hopefully that helps here. Uh, we still have that interchange in our back pocket if we get too congested and we need to uh, change something up. 500 people moved. Red line now has a teardrop and a diamond on it that it's only the one servicing it. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. Blue line, I might need to put another locomotive on here uh, to help that out since it's now got those two stations it's covering on its own. Uh, 540, 552 people moved, we'll take locomotive. And let's take carriage, and I'm going to go ahead and drop the locomotive and the carriage on the blue line. Um, quite a few people were just dropped off there, but the green line seemed to, to recover pretty quickly. Um, yeah, we'll leave that on the blue line. I think that'll certainly help. Yeah, okay. I like that. I like that. Another square just spawned there. Green line, uh, kind of like just south center area. 604 people moved here in Chongqing. 
moving right along, motoring line, well, we're not motoring, chugging right along since we are doing subways here. Pretty excited about that. Uh, what was my score? Like 1975 or, or something like that. Um, so we're, we're sh really, we're shooting for like 2000. If we can break the 2000 barrier, I would be pretty happy on this run. All right, 675. Um, not really seeing any major buildups that I'm concerned about right now. Um, that tan line is spawning some diamonds. Ooh, okay, speaking of diamond. Uh, all right, let's go ahead. We'll have both the green and the blue line drop down and pick up that diamond that spawn. Oh, excuse me, that spawn there. All right, we'll take locomotive and let's take... I really don't think we need any more bridges. I'm pretty happy with our line layout right now. Uh, we'll take a carriage and let's put a carriage on maybe the tan line. Let's put it on the tan line. Um, actually, no, you know what? We're gonna take that carriage off. Let's put it on that red train there. Um, there we go. I think that's gonna help the red line as we have another triangle spawning here kind of in the Southwest quadrant and we'll get our blue line attached to that. Uh, yeah, I like that layout. Let's see, that blue line picked up quite a bit. Um, red line has two trains. It is quite a bit of a long route, but they both have two carriages. Um, so I'm kind of keeping an eye on that and see if we need to move anything around. Another square spawning in. We'll get the red line to, to pop over and grab that square. Um, and then maybe, okay, the red line's picking up that plus sign. Um, do we have the green line pop up and grab that square? No, I think, uh, yeah, we can grab that square. Actually, let's, maybe we make this square that I'm dragging all these shapes to. Maybe we make that like our our main hub. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put an extra train on the blue line there. Um, I probably should have had it start over here. Uh, we'll take locomotive, we'll take carriage. Um, play for a second. Let's, um, Let's go ahead and put our carriage on this other blue line. And I might put the single train on the red line going that way. Let's see if that helps out. Got a couple stations chirping at us right there. A lot of teardrops need to be moved. And teardrops are on the red line. Um, so hopefully that, yeah, we got that train picking up a bunch of that. There we go. All right, that washed away all that. Not as big of a concern. A lot of diamonds being dropped off there as we roll over into the Thousand Territory. Uh, so we've had some things start to chirp at us, uh, but we seem to be doing okay. We'll go ahead and have the red line pick up that triangle. Uh, I don't know if that'll help it too much. Uh, that will, remains to be seen. The tan line, ooh, is going to pick up that triangle. Okay. Uh, so they are now going to go ahead and do that. I could back that out. No. Do I want to do that? No. Um, we'll leave that as it is. I'm trying to watch the tan line, see if we need to like shoot it up to this plus sign or something like that. That might help move quite a few things. Um, just kind of watching where things are being dropped off. Go ahead and have and grab that circle out there as well. The tan line is starting to spawn quite a bit here as we roll into Sunday. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the bridges and we're going to put another locomotive on the tan line. Um, uh, we'll start it... I want to start it here going into that station just because there's quite a bit there. There we go. It'll pick up six. All right. And where is it going to take those plus signs? Tan line is now covering quite a bit of territory. That is aggressive expansion there on that southeast quadrant as we hit 1,225 people moved. Again, shooting for 2,000. That's my goal here. As we roll into Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday. Um, quite a few diamonds are getting moved on the different lines. Uh, we still have the interchange in our back pocket, and I'm thinking the square that's kind of not quite in the center, just a little bit south center. I think that one eventually will become our interchange, um, but I'm going to hang on to that till we absolutely need it. Tan line is now getting worked over pretty hard. Um, okay, green line, I'm going to ask a little bit more of you. I'm going to have you pick that triangle up. Um, I might take you off this circle. I think I'm gonna take them off that circle. Shorten up that green line. Actually, I'm gonna take green line to just that square there. Uh, that hopefully helps them out. Tan line, khaki line, whatever color you are. Wow, you are getting quite a bit of spawnage. Um, all right, locomotive, we'll take carriage. We're gonna hit pause. We're gonna put the carriage on that tan car 
and then blue line is quite quite fat uh, with passengers. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Hopefully that helps out a little bit there too. Um, oh shoot, hopefully this tan line can pick some of that stuff up as we get another circle spawning in there. Uh, red line, I'll have you do that. Tan line, what are you picking up there? Good. All right, some of those chirps are being taken care of, but in the southeast corner, do we do have quite a few uh, things building up on the tan line. Um, all right, so I suspect it's gonna have to go kind of here in the southeast quadrant. We'll get ready here unless this guy picks up a bunch of stuff. He doesn't. Let's see what he picks up on this route back. Um, come on, come on, come on. Don't let me, okay, he picked up quite a bit. Um, so we will hold off on that interchange for now. Um, shoot, pause. All right, we're just gonna, uh, that's gonna be too close. We'll put our interchange there. Not excited that we had to drop an interchange there, but we did. Tan line is getting rather filled. Um, let's take uh, this car off there. We'll drop that there on the tan train. Give it a little bit more to carry. Uh, that triangle needs to be picked up there. Uh, Saturday here going into Sunday, 1708. People moved. Come on, tan train. Make it there in time so we can, it might not make it. Uh, nope, that tan line station on the top center. Okay, locomotive line, pause. Um, golly, this is going to be awfully close. I don't know if we're, that train's going to make it in time or not. Uh, we'll hit play and we're going to cross our fingers and toes that this works. 1743. Oh, it made it. Beautiful. Okay, uh, and we do have another line, but we don't have any trains to put on that line. Um, what if we, uh, you know what, we'll just let it ride out. 1,800 people coming up here. Um, that tan line is barely just scraping by. Just ever so barely. Uh, God, it is spawning quite a bit. Um, let's just grab another carriage and we'll put it on that train, I guess. Um, I'll probably it's robbing Peter to pay Paul here. Um, that is spawning so much. That wasn't spawning like that earlier. Um, all right, 18. I think we're over what I beat last time or played last time. We'll see here. The tan line just seems to barely be eking by um, as we roll into Thursday here. And I'm asking quite a bit of the red line now. Um, let's see if this guy picks up anything. He picks up a few there, but that's not going to be enough. I think that south center station is going to be it. 1984, man, we were almost, what, 16 people off 1,000, um, or 2,000, excuse me. I think that's a pretty good run here in Chongqing. Uh, let's just pop out really quick um, and see. Okay, so we did beat my my previous high score, so I am pretty happy with that um, in Chongqing. Uh, 1,984 people moved. I can live with that. Well, thank you so much for coming out and watching this Tooth and Scrubs video here in Mini Mo Metro. Excuse me, Mini Metro. Uh, really appreciate it. Like I said, if you haven't checked out the Jurassic Park The Game series, doing fantastic. Most people seem to be enjoying that, and I think you would too. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.